Hey guys, what's going on? Um, been kind of a while since I've uh, made one of these. Uh, basically just like an update ramble um, discussion about what I'm doing in the game, uh, where all of my accounts are going, what I'm doing, and uh, I guess how life is. So let me open this interface. Um, so for those of you that do not know, this is my Zaya only. Uh, named Regath. It's the NPC in the rune shop in Arceus. If fun fact for any of you guys and we're just killing some lizards um, And a lot has changed with Zaya. So It has ultimately changed my plans for this account. So people that know me well Know that I have three area locks um, one for each raid um, Unfortunately if a fourth raid comes out, you know the the autism in me would be forced to make a fourth account and then actually play it but we're kind of full focused on the Zaya. The Mauritania account is still doing a big secret grind passively um, that I don't expect to finish for probably about another year. Uh, the Desert, I won't be playing until Menaphos is released at a minimum or something very groundbreaking that looks fun comes out. Um, I'm not going to AFK for a thousand hours on that account. So it leads me to my regular iron. Uh, that I play on the side that I've been building up, which is at a good spot. It needs a Warhammer, a Fang. Um, it's at this stage to do Inferno and a few other very other items, and it's basically an in-game PVM from there on out. So that accounts in a good spot. Everything else is doing in a good spot, um, and it's all in preparate. Uh, sorry, preparation for a Varlamore. So. That's going to be a massive, massive piece of content. And if those of you who haven't already seen the map, I urge you to just on the wiki look at Barlamore. It is insanely massive. And there's going to be a huge poll coming out soon with a lot of this content. And a lot of that poll, what passes on that poll determines what I do on this account. So I've been prepping it in anticipation that everything's going to pass. Um, so we'll start off with uh, we'll start off with the most recent change they did. So they made a lamp change. So on Zaya you cannot train Slayer. If you do Conor Slayer, I'm sorry, you're not a Zaya only. I've wasted countless amount of breath and brain cells on this argument. If you go to Karamja and train Slayer, you're not a Zaya only. You cannot train Slayer on Zaya unless you get a lucky task or you lamp it or you use Dark Relics from Chambers. So now that we have that out of the way, the only exceptions on this account um, are. X marks the spot in Judic Ritual, and if you want to get technical, uh, Puro Puro. Those would that's it. Um, past that, everything's inland. That's how it's gonna stay, it's never gonna change. I used to have another Zaya only, but I remade it because I hated the amount of exceptions that were generally accepted and allowed. And over the course of years, Zaya only has really transformed into a really good area. And now with Varlamore, it's just gonna be exceptional. It's gonna be a lot of fun it's kind of like a like a kid's dream so if we open up this map and we just check it out go all the way down here oh gosh all of this darkness is just going to be filled this void will be stuff we can't get to this obviously this is desert treasure too but we'll be able to go through this bridge through the autumn area into the P perilous moons which is going to be basically barrows 2.0 and if you don't know about perilous moons and barrows 2.0 i highly urge that you look it up so essentially in essence there's going to be a range melee and mage set the melee set is massive for us it gives us huge dps increase and it's not encroaching on the main game so main irons or mains it doesn't encroach on that it doesn't it's not better or worse DPS. It's not cheesy in any way. Mm, you could argue it is slightly cheesy, but there's a lot of other options you can get quicker and more efficiently on an Iron Man. So it doesn't encroach on any meta. Um, the range gear is a little finicky, and I've tried to do some calculations on my own, but I'll have to test it uh, on release or wait for the nerds, the, the super nerds to crowdsource that data. And the mage gear um, for TLDR is basically going to be lighter arums, and it'll give Zaya only uh, a plus one max hit on Undead Grasp. So, we care about the um, the gear coming from that, as well as the Hunter Guild that's going to come out. So, I've done Aerial Fishing. I have Aerial Fishing Greenlog besides one item. 
and the other item you can't get so a barbarian fishing rod you actually can't get one on the Zay only because you need to do barbarian training to purchase it from the shop so that's just another exception that i just yeah why don't need it with an agility course there's no need back in the day you would have to um so a lot of organic methods are kind of popping up and it's just going to get better there's a lot to expect with the new area the Colosseum is basically going to be the new end game for this account as well as I think a solo chambers mode is on the cards. I think it's doable with obviously a TiVo and full max with the quality of life of chambers coming as well. The list is just growing and growing. Um, so there's basically all this gear, what this, this character, the meta, everything's going to basically go 180 and change entirely. So it's extremely exciting to have uh, such a big piece of content come to an area lock that you kind of made an anticipation of this. Like everyone's been waiting for it for years. It's here. Um, I put a lot of time into this account and it's at a stage to where I just need to train combats and get some crafting levels and we're kind of good to go. Um, so that's just what we're working on right now. Currently, I'm just getting some combat levels, so baby red dragons and forthos can't aggro onto me, and that's the main goal. Well, I just wanted to walk through some process, so I'm going to kill this lizard and go to the bank. But I think there's six major updates coming for Zayas. Um, also, if you have not and you are an area lock, account check. If you have a Jagex account, you can get a lamp from him now, so... It's efficient to have a secure Jagex account. I never thought I would say that in my life. Um, as someone who disdains Jagex's uh, security policies and principles. But, you know, they're they're doing good. And as someone who is addicted to lamp and skills and the area lock, um, I'm on board with it. So let me, let me bank all these resources. By the way, uh, it's so good to wait for sulfur lizards to do your combat training. The amount of smithing and crafting you get, very good. Um, so start out with the first tab. I'm building up the GP. We're at about four mil. I probably have about another five to six mil in outs. Um, and it's gonna keep growing while I do shamans. I do about. Let me change the music. I do about three. No, I've done about two thousand shamans. Um, so I'm going for that Warhammer. My regular iron's at 20,000 and counting, almost 21k. So, you know, it, it'd be nice to get, hopefully this one can get a little bit luckier. But as you can see, I basically bank all the alkables because nature runes and Zaya is very hard to get. Another reason why I'm at Sulphurs. I'm trying to build up a stack to alk everything I get. Um, my rune stack, I've done a lot of blood runes. I've done the Arceus grind. I got to a point where I'd get 73 crafting through rune crafting, so I can uh, make red DI'd van braces and forthos, and passively get that 74 for combat bracelet. So that way, it's like I never have to train crafting. I, I'm training it passively. Um, but the rune stack is looking good, and GP for elemental runes isn't going to be a problem for me. Um, and these are going to get larger the more I kill shamans and sarachnas. Ores, all this is from shamans and sulfurs. Uh, same with the gems are from like boosted uh, chambers, etc. This is all just like loot that I've slowly accumulated um, over the course of the account. One thing to note is that let me pull up my collection log. Uh, I do so this account is strictly to rush Barlamore, and I know some people have an issue with oh I want to like do things organically. I don't really care about chambers and I like to do things as quick and efficient as possible, especially when it comes to chambers. So um, throughout the course of this account, I'll definitely be doing one plus one raids where I do guardian boosting and have like 100k points in the account and I'll also be doing like mega scale boost um, as well as regular raids whenever I want to. But I'm not really when it comes to like ethics of Iron Man integrity. My opinion is that it's already gone and it's been gone for about five plus years. So I'm not going to hold myself to that standard. I did it on Mori. Um, finding teams for 700 raids 
uh, as I can tell you, is awful. I'm never doing that again. So, Chambers is just kind of going to be like a boost meme. Um, all the CMs are going to be probably what I take serious, but these regular ones, like I don't don't care about. Um, not really important for the account. But with the new armor coming, grinding Tecton for an Onyx is going to be way easier than it was before. So that's going to be nice. Um, also, with the new addition of Perilous Moons, there's a new shield that's going to provide us with 59 slash accuracy. So if over the course of, let's say, 5,000 raids, you get enough Dark Relics to get 80 Slayer, you can get a whip. Um, at 80, boost with Wild Pie, and then get an insane amount of DPS gain. So, fun little super in-game thing to uh, fantasize about. This is just the basic Fletch stuff. I have some Oak Logs for construction, but that grinds completely on hold with the addition of the new Quiver and the uh, Mixed Hide Cape that gives one Strength bonus. So, there are two new best Capes coming for range and melee. Um, so I don't really feel a need to grind a Bisc Cape because ones are coming quite, they're coming. So there's no need to grind one. And I have a fish sack, so. Armor. My gear is lacking. I do still need a cudgel and warhammer. But other than that, I have basically everything I can get myself but besides raids and clue items. Um, I'm at that stage in the account where I'm ready, ready to go. Farming with the farming guild, it's extremely easy now with seeds and ma maintaining that i have about 78 herb lore bank which is enough to make pots so i don't really need the next milestone would be 90 to make my own overloads but other than that like we're we're chilling big um as you can see i'm very on my secondaries so i don't have to worry about them ever i made a big conscious effort to kind of no life them early on in the account um so we're kind of supplied and ready i have the new forestry outfit Grabbed those, grabbed all these outfits for lamps. Um, these are items from random quests I just hold on to and hoard. And then this is like kind of like the Piro stack with the clue juggles that I will be doing a massive medium opening with like maybe 10,000 to 20,000 eclectics to try to go for those manacles and maybe some prayer gear. But that is just the basic rundown of the account and what I'm doing. Um, a quick little update, nothing too serious. I got an herb sack recently, but this account um big things are coming for it and i'm really excited so i hope you are too and uh for the five people that watch this um nice to see you around uh add me if you want hit me up um hope you have a good day bye